Hello everyone, welcome to another video where we will be discussing about agentic workflows. And in this we would be also understanding other terminologies like AI agents, orchestrator and tools. Let's quickly jump into the video. To explain all these terminologies, I will be using Minion's analogy. So if you have seen the movie, that's great. But if you haven't seen the movie, so Gru is a character who is standing on this rocket and he wants to steal the moon and these minions are actually helping him out by doing smaller tasks right building this rocket launching it and doing all the small stuff so we will see how this example relates to our agentic workflow so first of all what are agentic workflows so these are the overall business problem or the goal you are trying to solve for example resolving an incident that could be a business problem or resolving a CSM case. So you can think of agentic workflows as why. In the minions terminology, it would be the mission and the mission is to steal the moon. Next is AI agent orchestrator. That means how you can think of orchestrator as the planner or the coordinator of the workflow and it would decide which agents to use when. So you can think the Gru character, the villain is the orchestrator of all the moon heist. He will decide when to use which minion and the task of each minion and at what point he would be using those minions. So orchestrator basically decides to plan and coordinate the whole agentic workflow. Moving on AI agents. So who will be doing the task? So these are digital co-workers that perform the tasks together like AI agents, HR agent or CRM agent. So you can think of AI agents as small minions who have been assigned different roles to do a specific job. For example, one minion is responsible for making the rocket. One minion is responsible for launching the rocket. One minion is responsible for all the wirings. Another minion is responsible for grabbing the moon another minion might be responsible for pulling the moon and so on so ai agents are the ones who are performing very very small tasks in the whole agentic workflow and lastly we have tools so what tools would they be using so these ai agents use some tools to complete their tasks like we can use subflows we can use scripts search retrieval or web search let's take an example here in our analogy minions tools would be rockets shrink rays or gadgets so these ai agents will use these tools to achieve their tasks so bringing it all together first we will see on the right hand side how this agentic workflow is so our agentic workflow was the mission and the mission was to steal the moon. So that's agentic workflow. Then we had Gru, who is the villain here and he is the orchestrator as well, who is basically responsible for orchestrating the whole heist. He will decide which AI agent or which minion will do what task at what point of time. Then we have AI agents which are these small minions and they are responsible for small tasks like making this rocket or launching this rocket or grabbing the moon. Next we have tools. So tools are the gadgets these minions are using. For example you see these small gadgets they are trying to pull the moon. So minions are using these tools to pull the moon towards themselves. I hope all these terminologies are clear. And let's now see an example of service. Now, how can we bring it all together? The agentic workflow here could be we have to resolve an incident. So that's our mission. Then we will have an AI agent orchestrator, which will actually orchestrate or plan which AI agents to use at what point of time. Next, we will have small AI agents. Let's take an example for resolving an incident. I need one AI agent to get the details of the incident. I will need second AI agent to look at the past incidents and see if this kind of incident has already occurred or not. Another AI agent would be responsible for looking at knowledge articles and trying to find out the solution. And then another AI agent would be responsible for grabbing the output of all of these AI agents and presenting it to the 
service desk agent. Now next is tools. So every AI agent will use a tool. For example, the first AI agent which I talked about was to get the details of the incident. So that AI agent would use maybe a script to fetch the details of short description and description maybe or the configuration item details. The second AI agent which was looking at the past incidents could use a subflow to fetch all the incidents which have a specific keyword from the current incident. Finally, the third agent which was responsible for pulling all the knowledge articles can use search retrieval tool provided by ServiceNow to fetch the knowledge articles which are in your ServiceNow instance. So these are the tools which are leveraged by AI agents. I hope all of this made sense to you and you are clear on these terminologies. In the following videos, we will see how to test agentic workflows, create agentic workflows, create AI agents and so on. Thanks for watching the video. I will see you in the next video.